This is how California looks right now from 250 miles above Earth. Astronaut Alexander Gerst snapped these photos as he flew overhead aboard the International Space Station. And we're learning more about the wicked storm that roared across Shasta County and into Reading last week. A freak of nature, the Fire NATO. KPI X5 reporter Wilson Walker spoke with experts about the dramatic weather event. Wilson? Well, more than a quarter of a mile wide, rising some 16,000 feet into the air, churning across the ground for as long as 80 minutes, whatever you call it. The firestorm that burned into Redding last week was not something we see very often, and even the experts are at a loss for words. Heat is rapidly rising off the ground, and that's what happened with this fire world. You saw a lot of erratic winds and the intense heating that had to escape and go upward, and with that created this monster fire world that we saw. That is Michael Kachasik with the National Weather Service, part of a multi-agency team trying to better understand the incredible winds that surrounded and drove the car fire, causing widespread damage even in areas where the fire itself did not burn. Preliminarily, they saw uprooted trees, um, bark stripped from a tree, which is pretty impressive. That takes a, an incredible amount of wind, as well as um, high tension wire uh, utility poles knocked down as well from the wind. And the best metric they've come up with for this kind of event, an EF3 tornado on the Fujita scale. Very, very impressive wind speeds, estimated to be in excess of 143 miles per hour. I was up in Reading in those sort of overnight hours and when the sun came up uh, that Friday morning. And when the sun came up, I found myself just west of the river and what I saw sort of stopped me in my tracks. I, I've seen a lot of fire aftermath, but the way the ground was blown smooth there, and I've, sh I've shown you some pictures of that video, that would be indicative of, of that event having moved through that area? Absolutely. When you have burned evidence, but also the wind evidence, that there's not, just not a whole lot of evidence there, everything's wind swept away, it was definitely unusual. So unusual that even the experts can't quite agree on what this phenomenon should be called. The debate will continue on for years as far as whether or not you classify that as a tornado or just a really intense fire world. But again, they're deadly and, um, you know, it's, it's very unfortunate what happened up there. Now, that fire probably hit maximum strength right about the time it jumped the Sacramento and landed in the western neighborhoods of Redding. Now, an event like this in a populated area is extremely rare, but given the rate at which California's wildfires are intensifying, fire officials worry that this is exactly the kind of thing we might start seeing more of. Liz? Scary stuff. All right, Wilson, thank you.